Yeah, we're down to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. The other teams are headed home with lots of memories and mementos from their time right here in the Circle City. Some of those mementos include welcome letters from hundreds of Hoosiers, including students at William McKinley School 39 on the city's near east side. And joining me live this morning, fifth grade teacher, this is Julie Nash, and we're trying to connect with one of your students, Miss Nash, Julian Davis. We are having a little trouble, so if he gets in, we'll bring him into the conversation. But good morning to you. Such a great idea. Tell us, how did this project come about? Good morning. Um, we had a, a fellow teacher that used to work at William McKinley. Her daughter actually works for Indiana Sports Corp, and she's in charge of different events. And she said, hey, we need some letters that are going to be in the hotel rooms when the student athletes come to town as part of their welcome package. So she wanted kids to write letters welcoming to them, welcoming them to Indianapolis and uh, congratulating them on making the tournament and wishing them luck. So my kids were, they, they were all over it. How we had did, third, fourth, and fifth graders participate in that. How did they feel about getting to write to college basketball players? Oh, they were excited. And some of them wrote three and four letters. Um, they drew pictures. Julian's was so cute. He drew a four leaf clover and said, this is for good luck. I hope you win it all. Um, so they were really excited to be a part of this huge event that came to our town. And speaking of Julian's letter, I, I have it in front of me, and I, and I read it this morning when the producer gave it to me. It's such an incredible one. He says, congrats on making it to the tournament. I'm a fifth grader here, and my favorite team is the Boston Celtics. And as a form of luck, here is this clover you mentioned. And if you're looking to get a bite after the game, go to Qdoba. It's a restaurant I went to, and they have some really good food. I recommend it. If you, if you regret it, I, it's, I'm here. I hope you win, and I will be seeing you on TV. That is Julian's letter to some of the, these athletes. You have to be so proud of what these students are doing to be able to not only think in their own mind of, of sending these messages to these players. Oh yeah, they 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 embraced it. They they were all over it. Like I said, they were like, "I need another one. I need another one." So they were just happy to be a part of it because you can see downtown from our classroom. Right. So they were like I said, they were just happy to be part of this big event that's happening in their in their own town. What is so good about being a teacher? Oh gosh, um, teaching fifth grade is the best. First of all, just just inspire, trying to inspire them and trying to. Um, mold them and frame them towards, you know, they can be anything they want to be. And so like with this project, it's like you're writing letters to to kids that are um, being that are athletes in college. And some of my kids want to be college athletes. They want to be pro athletes. Right. So just like encouraging them to be whatever you want to be. A lot of administrators and teachers around the country have been dealing with the pandemic and, and, and working from home or even in school trying to work with their students. How has that been for you being a teacher trying to communicate a message like this to your students, especially when there's such a big event happening here in our city that we want this to be an exciting time. Give the message that you want to send to these star athletes. Oh gosh, um, for the kids with the, the the athletes, they need to realize, and this is like these letters are kind of a general reminder right. that whether they want to be role models or not, they are, because these little kids are watching everything they do and say. Well, I would have to say you are a role model because you inspired these students to uh, to put penmanship on the paper and give to someone else that these players one will never forget having received it from uh, some of your students. So thank you for for doing this for them. Oh, well, thank you. And there's, like I said, a lot of teachers and a lot of kids in our building that did the exact same thing. It, right. it was awesome. All right. Have a wonderful day again, uh, Ms. Nash. Julie Nash, thank you. And just a reminder, if you would like to help support IPS education, you can now buy one of these special shirts from Visit Indy. They are $15 and all proceeds go toward the IPS Foundation. It supports IPS students and teachers with the resources they need for good education. If you need more information, we have a link on our website, fox59.com. Those story, those letters are so cute. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. And go to Qdoba. I like it. Yeah. Qdoba is good.